the what's up guys um apologies for the last vlog i did say it was going to be better than i there's me at the end talking about what was wrong with the other clip and the same thing happened what is it me or is it really echoing here guys echo yeah back on subject i'm so easily distract distracted oh my yeah anyway it wasn't me it was not me that messed up that video it was already messed up um i don't know it must have been a glitch with this with the actual vlog and uh, the, the the video clips seemed fine it must have been something to do with youtube i'm gonna blame them because i i don't know what i did wrong i didn't do anything wrong um it happens i just onwards and upwards I, i'm just laughing about it it's so ironic that at the end how i'm talking about what went wrong and it still went wrong but um nonetheless i have a vlog lined up for you guys today it, i filmed it yesterday so it won't well it won't make sense but it doesn't matter what day it was anyway it's all about what inspired me to vlog who inspired me in terms of youtube celebrities or stars or whatever you want to call them but nah just a bit annoyed that video didn't go through but what can i do eh it's not like I made a mistake and it's my fault or anything. Just so you know, it wasn't me. No way. But she got me on the counter. It wasn't me. Saw me banging on the sofa. It wasn't me. I... <laughs> it was not me. But yeah. Um, the vlog I filmed yesterday, but you're going to see it now. So stay tuned for that. In a little while, crocodile. Why am I winking at a camera? Anyway guys, keep it real, see you in a bit. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog with me, your host, John Luca Luisi. As always, I ain't going anywhere. I'm still here, no worries about that. Um, but yeah, just want to talk about my inspi inspiration for YouTube, my YouTubers that inspire me, and you're going to see a few clips from most of those. But I'm going to start with my the probably the reason I started vlogging. The first. What is good? Welcome back to the channel. First and foremost. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I am beginning with both of these bikes. The reason they are mounted atop. Watching the bungee cords. Gotta love that. Yeah. Hey, attention to details. That's, right. details. That's what yeah. separates the good from the great. What are we missing? Uh, a couple we things. Cranks, tools, forks, cranks, little things, some pegs. All right, then we're almost done. Dang, we're getting good at this. We are getting efficient. That's right. That's all thanks to this guy. The one and only John Warren. The and I'm out of the picture there. <laughs> <laughs> is that a ballast? A ballast Proper vlog I started watching. So, you know, that's how it starts with most people. It's like you're watching other people's vlogs and I felt like I wanted to create in the same way they did. Not just be a, be a spectator, you know, be part of it. Because uh, that's important in life, anyway. So my first, uh, probably, inspiration that's in that sense is pro probably John Hicks. And his videos, so, since probably... It's over a year now I've been watching his vlogs. Oh, they're getting someone. Oh, Yo, look, they're getting him. Yo, he's on foot. Holy sh**. Look. Yo. It's hot as hell. Hey. They don't give a damn. I'm about to have the ghetto bird over here in a second. Like, brrrr. Here we go. A lot of heads. I'm hungry though, so I might just. I've watched everything. I've gone back and watched him from the beginning, his first vlogs, and yeah, it was like the first proper vlog I started watching and got addicted to. Let's just say that, and then from there, it just kicked off. And I don't know what. It's not like I'm a big fan of BMX, like like uh, you see in his video clips. Um, but yeah, John Hicks. You should check him out. Um, it was quite inspirational, like his own life story as well, not just like what he does on a daily basis. It just reminded me that you, you just got to share who you really are in real life. Like, don't have some fake persona that 
some some people on YouTube might have. Um, and of course, the live stream gaming side, I was, I was a big gamer already, so so that that was simple for me. But making vlogs, actually getting my head around what I'm going to talk about on a daily basis, that was difficult. And watching his videos helped me learn. I learned a few tricks, uh, vlog hacks, if you like, different ways in which to vlog, like, you know, backing music, all that, camera shots, camera angles, the technology to use, like, in, in relation to cameras and stuff. Probably his is the, like, it was the first. And then obviously, get when you start watching one vlog, you get all the notifications of people who are similar, similar vlogs, people that he's mentioned. Um, so from that, it was probably Alfredo Mancuso, a, a good friend of I don't remember the last time I vlogged in Lakewood, but it's been a while. Today's gonna be an interesting day. I'm meeting up with a team at a skate park. We're gonna do a meet and greet in Belgar. <laughs> the Hicks Mobile. Yo. The Hicks himself. Oh, wow, you know I just fucking realized I forgot the job. I forgot the So phone. John Hicks is the worst friend ever. It's been like seven days. I paid him up front for the record. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I missed that part. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the kind and positive reactions. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, tune in for tomorrow's video. You know I'm good for it. I don't abandon you guys. So you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going in circles, so I'm getting dizzy. But stay tuned for the next videos that are up here. And all right, guys, see you tomorrow. What up? So last week I did a video on how to crank flip, and you guys really seem to like it. So I think I'm going to start doing How To Tuesdays, where myself, or other of my friends and pros are going to explain cool tricks to you guys. But let me know what you guys think about it. Another LA vlogger, most of them are from LA for some reason. Um, our friend in Manku, so just another BMX BMX person. Um, but the way he, he vlogs is different, it's more it's more like informal. I'm not always saying, it's more like relaxed. It's not like he met, he's focused on that as a career and all that. Um, diff, slightly older than John Hicks, well, not slightly, but like five, six years, so a different style, it's different, like, it's not like he has a, a daily routine that he does and shows in the vlog, it's more spontaneous, some of the stuff he does, which I, I took a page from that book as well, I'd say, because I tried to make my vlogs as unrepetitive as possible, like different stuff, different um, activities, different people, and that's what you learn, like how to talk to people with a camera in front of you, how to talk to a camera, how it is like what it's like filming around other people who might not understand what what a vlogger does? Um, how to get around that? You know, just don't be too in your face with the camera. Slightly different style, but very inspirational as well. Like his his story, his history of what he's been through, and all these people like they they've been through, they they got interesting lives. Like I hope you you've seen in mine in some way or another. So yeah. That's two of the main ones. And then uh, out of John Hicks and Alfredo Mancuso, I ended up watching a lot of Markel Jones vlogs. Um, he's newer to, to the world of vlogging, uh, a very good BMX rider, um, and a good friend of John Hicks, so they feature each other yeah. videos quite a lot. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you guys. That's it, guys. So just enjoy the video um this is the end but it's the beginning so i just want to say smash that like button let's go for a thousand likes i'll be because <laughs> i'm proud of myself <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop with the ugly cry face i'm sorry about that but yeah, they got some event going on downstairs for like healthcare and stuff. It's all blown. All right. I just want to remind you guys, I'm just saying real fast, before you watch this video, smash that like button. And after you watch this video, smash that like button. <laughs> Peace. He's standing still. Oh! <laughs> So, 
from that, I ended up watching a, a, quite a few of his vlogs. Quite such a genuine guy. Like, I would say a proper good BMX rider. And since watching these vlogs, I've become interested in BMX more. Obviously, that's not the reason I was watching them. It was just more random, really. But, yeah, from there, I've started watching those. And it's just... When you watch these vlogs, you don't always have to focus and get every detail like when you watch TV or like when you watch a series or a film, you know, it's just a more relaxed thing to watch. Um, I'm just glad, glad that I, I came across these people because without them I wouldn't be vlogging as, as well as I am now. Of course I probably taught myself quite a few of things, a um, few how-to videos, but then after having watched all these, um, I started hearing about Casey Neistat, who do, does a lot of vlogging, uh, filmmaker in general, but so before even vlogs he was making movies and I started watching his on a regular basis as well. Um, they're not as long as the, the typical vlog, you know, no more than 10 minutes here and there, but very professionally done, another level entirely. And again, the life story of Casey Neistat uh, inspired me a lot, what he's been through, what he does on a daily basis, the amount of things. Heading back to the studio now, I think it might be time. Today's kind of like a special presentation Q&A, more of a rant really than a regular Q&A. is up with this weather? June 6th, summer should be here already. The most important thing to succeeding, whether it's in the vlog game, the YouTube game, or in the creative space at all, is this. You have to have your own thing. So if you follow this video perfectly and you make the most perfect Casey vlogs, you will have failed before you've begun. They don't want to see your Casey vlogs. They want to see your, your vlogs. They want to... Mixing up the format a little bit. Today's vlog is going to be about one theme. One thing so emphatic about all of this is that I think life is substantiated by whatever impact or whatever contribution you can make while you're alive. The finish line is the same for everyone. We're all ending up in the same place. But while we're here, what, what contribution can you make? Work and building things and making things and doing things and spending time with your family those are the ways that I feel I'm contributing. That I'm motivational side, very motivational person to watch in the vlogs. Keeps you upbeat, you know, you watch two, two or three of them in the morning and then you're, you're good for the rest of the day. It just makes me want to work harder at whatever I do. So it's, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's one of them things. It's just part of my routine now. If I don't watch a vlog, I feel like something's missing. Of course, I'm making my own as well, so I feel like I can relate to them in some aspects. And I'm, I'm seeing uh, how much work needs to be put in to be successful. Like these guys who have all loads of subscribers, views, and they're quite popular on social media and all that. I've got a long way to go, but um, with your support, I'll be there soon. And another vlogger that rides BMX as well. They all seem to ride BMX. Um, Austin Augie, another vlogger. Uh, not from LA, from New York, but still affiliated with the same group of uh, some vloggers like John Hicks and a few of them. Um, another BMX rider, like I said. No way! This is it! You found it! He brought a hammer. He's got a hammer. Oh, 
Arbeit arbeiten und äh, wenn ich krank werde, das kann ich... Look at this! First a dish. I mean, which one do you think, you know, which one do you guys like? That would actually be a good time. Look at this. Dude! Woo! Yo, so look at all the, the cruise ships over here. You guys can't really see them, but I've never seen three cruise ships lined up here on the, on the East River. Three cruise ships right there. Empire State. Let's go! We're down, get it! Oh! Yeah, that's good! Um, interesting vlogs gives you a different outlook on the city of New York, really. I, I know so much about New York, I've watched his vlogs. Uh, the amount of BMX riding around New York he does, his, his outlook on life, like, you get to see the social side again, and it's interesting to see people's everyday routine and from his vlogs I've learned a lot and it's made me want to get a drone same though in sa same way that Casey Neistat vlogs seeing the drone work gets gets me hyped about getting the drone but it's a lot of money and again these guys they've inspired me to improve my vlogs in Austin Augie's case it's just um, I'm not that busy in everyday life obviously you know I'm not, I'm not a, a in his case a model in some cases like fashion and all that but everyone's got their own in these vlogs they've all got their own lives and they're good at vlogging that's it and it's just a regular routine for them everything is caught on camera you know and just the way I'm talking to you like the you know the beginning I was too serious I think you just gotta relax when you're in front of the camera just do whatever really and Austin Oggy proves that and from his I've learned that like in a few clips he's mentioned about people who gave negative feedback on his vlogs, comments and stuff like that and it's not something I've had yet because I'm not that that well known yet so I haven't had that but and the way he deals with it and the fairness in which he speaks um, it's just inspiring um, like they all are in different ways um, I hope you enjoy my vlogs and, and maybe one day one of you will be inspired to make vlogs because of me, hopefully. Um, and I just keep working hard, just keep keep going, getting on with the vlogs. Stop saying um every time. But that's just me thinking when I'm talking to you. It's genuine. When I say um, like in earlier vlogs, it would be all the time. It's just me trying to get the honesty through, the real me. With a, just obviously on the other end of a camera. It's not like you're right here. Um, but you know the everyday stuff. Um, just to follow what I do in my life, to share it with you guys. Um, so all of these vloggers have inspired me in some way, and long may it continue. Um, just thank you guys for being being loyal. If you've been there from earlier on in the vlogs, if you've seen how I've learned and developed, and I think all these vloggers I've mentioned, you see something I've gained from watching their vlogs in mine. I'm not saying copying or anything. But you can always learn from others. But I feel that I have my own style and my own everyday things like parachair football. You know, when I go out um, exploring the local area, I've been motivated to do that a lot more, whereas I wouldn't in the past. Football, when I go football matches, those vlogs are really popular. Oh my god, my voice is going out. I'm going to have to get some water. But yeah, I will see you very soon. Thank you for joining me on this vlog all about what inspires me to do what I do um, hope you appreciate that and I appreciate you guys so stay humble stay positive keep doing what you're doing and don't be afraid to share who you really are peace I'll see you so very soon tomorrow probably tomorrow I'm gonna do a live stream as well Gran Turismo yes, I'm playing
Subject. <laughs> oh dear. Done.